Blessings to you, my energetic beings, and welcome back to the Musing Moon Meditation. This Musing Moon is brought to you by the last new moon, a super moon at that, in the season of Capricorn, December 23rd, 2022, arriving at 517 a.m. Eastern, 417 Central, 317 Mountain, and 217 AM Pacific, but go ahead and check your local time zone to see when she apexes for you. And if you have been tuning into the Musing with Tanya D podcast, I'm actually searching for a new theme for 2023. I generally coin or theme my seasons every year. And this year, I'm actually feeling the season of the witch or the year of the witch. Why? You may be wondering why. In the Dagara cosmology, the elements play a huge role in gift and purpose, our personal medicine. And this upcoming year is the season of nature, which I have already done a nature series. You can go ahead and check that out. I believe it was around 2017. So being that we are in another nature season, I'm feeling the season of the witch or the year of the witch. Comment and let me know what you are leaning in towards. And if you've been listening in for a while, Inshallah and Ashe, I am Tanya D, and I teach people about tuning into their energy body through the realms of the elementals, the imaginal, to ground, source, connect, protect, and listen to how you too can package your greatest asset, you, and become the magical being that resides within, the one you're meant to be, living our purpose, can often sometimes feel like a curse, but the blessing is in the ingredients, and you, my friend, you are those ingredients. And the study being in the case by teaching people how to play with the elements and utilize the gifts of the other world to bring light to who you are, your subtle energetic centers, along with the cosmic highway, where their fear is your ally, turning it into your greatest asset. I am a practicing holistic shaman, medium, an otherworldly life coach, and a subtle energetic surgeon. And my intention is to use the power of these indigenous technologies, your original divine blueprint, to really navigate your soul's harmonic through these realms, elemental or imaginal, subtle, and so much more, with offerings, rituals, and prescriptions, the otherworldly kind, to really add to your container, to assist you into navigating that prime directive, your inner genius, maybe reintroducing you to and through the magical being that resides within yourself. And I do call myself a holistic Shaw medium and welcome to my audio medicine room. And if you haven't, or maybe yet, to subscribe to my Musing podcast, Musing with Tanya D on Apple, Spotify, or join my newsletter just to be in the knowing, or even just hopping on my YouTube channel where you are probably watching this moon meditation, along with other platforms, of course, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. But if your soul does wish to dive on deeper, head on over to the Musing Corridor where I have offerings to guide you to assist you at tanyad.tv. And my new brew, something that has been percolating for a while now, I have a mentorship or membership taking us to the origins, the rise of our origins, the Shamanic Healing Academy. Again, I am your holistic Shaw medium assistant. You truly are your own healer. Sometimes we need a shamanic otherworldly life coach to see beyond sharing insight into the otherworldly perspective. Wherever you are, I will be sure to meet you there. And with all of that... (laughs) Welcome to not just the last new moon of the year, but also a super moon streaming in at the heart's degree, the core of our essence. So it's time by divine design to love what your heart commits to or decides to commit to. You are your own healer. And this new moon is also having a hiccup with Jupiter, who is in Aries doing the dance. So this is about stabilizing a boundary around ourselves, a boundary our heart may believe in, excelling the ability to believe in oneself. But Saturn, the ruler of this moon, is in the season of Aquarius. Being as the sun and the moon's degree, this lunation is symbolic of a new beginning. It's in a cardinal earth sign, focusing on the traits of Capricorn, the positive traits, like being constructive, tenacious, resourceful. Maybe you're disciplined, wise, ambitious. Maybe prudent, maybe you feel a little stuffy. How can you bring these positive qualities into your life, these aspects? Maybe it's the practical, those attainable goals, the long-term ones. Just like Father Time, work on developing a maturity, some common sense, maybe preparing for the future, making commitments, recognizing your responsibilities, and nurturing those dreams. This is all inner work inside of us. And the energy of this new moon is very potent. It's giving us the opportunity to create some structure, some order in our lives. It's time to make and create solid plans, setting the stage for reaping rewards from our new heartfelt beginnings. 
as little or as big as they may be, just kind of tweaking the two weeks that follow this new moon, lessons of acceptance, reasonable boundaries, rules, even the trials and the tribulations offering us some freedom, freedom from worry, chaos, and setting goals for ourselves that really allows us to focus or hone in on what really heartfelt matters. And being that Aries is wrestling with the new moon, Jupiter's in the mix. So this clash may bring some committing, over committing, over doing things, over estimating. And being that this is a logical, practical new moon, the final new moon is really asking us to look ahead, to take steps in a positive light with the influence of Jupiter on this new moon. It's kind of pushing us to maybe take a leap of faith, have some confidence and let the rest just figure itself out and to prepare or allow for some time to really write down the story, those intentions of this new year to come. So if you have been feeling a little topsy-turvy, like the Turvets, if you listen to my show when I pull the Fae, confused about what this new year will rein in, this is a moon of direction. And after a year that may have felt a little bit more chaotic than usual, it's time to take a breath and take a pause. There's no need to rush in, no need to commit to something without knowing the entire offer that's being placed upon the table. But as always, <laughs> there may be a spin to that as well, a benefit to the spin. So it's time to lead from the gates, ushering in a new year with rewards for divine efforts. Of course, the cardinal signs are going to feel this energy the most, especially the early bird degree ones. Aries, I would say with Jupiter on your natal sun, in the beginning degrees there and cancer the opposer to this moon along with being your ruling planet and of course libra so we've got some energies here so it's time to really get down to the nitty and gritty to business in all seriousness so if you're looking to restructure your life your goals putting plans in place this is like your golden nugget opportunity anything you start with this new moon is destined to succeed creativity new beginnings we have this door opening to these golden opportunities it's time to make the changes those commitments that benefit long after the lunar energy is over Generally, new moons are new beginnings, so really take the time, Saturn, to reflect on what it is that your heart wants to change or what you want to bring into your life on a solid foundation. And being that this is a practical new moon, it's bringing us back to our foundation, to what really matters. It's time of renewal, a time to refocus, looking at our foundations, maybe getting reacquainted with our foundations, traditions. So if you tend to be like me and neglect the basics during the season, this is a new moon to get you back on track, maybe investing in habits that shine your heart on, like ET, eating healthy, creating an exercise routine that works for you, relationships, home life, the rewards that pay off in the bounty in sums, finding an attitude of gratitude in all areas of your life or aspects. But being that Capricorn is really old school, appreciating tradition, it's time to go old school. Re-examine the family of origins, the dynamics, traditions, things that may have gone to the wayside. You may just find value in restoring those old traditions. Go through some old family photos, even a period or a time in history that maybe your heart relates to, it resonates with. You might even be surprised at what you find there and how it may even influence your life now. Capricorn is all about business, achieving, setting goals, and the sun in the 10th house. If that's you, you are focused. Saturn gives you drive, tenacious energy, the energy needed to really set the goals and also achieve them. But it's also again about responsibility, structure, ground rules. And like most, the beginning of a new year, we do set resolutions. I believe, however, that our new year starts on our birthday. So if you are in it to win it, set the stage now for those plans, whether it be weight loss, a new love life, a new job, a career, put the plans in place, write them down and revisit them every month. Focusing in on your goals, strive to climb the mountain, achieving what you seek, despite all the energetic hiccups that may come in the way. They're there to show us something. They're there for us. And just embrace the energy of this new moon. Take it to the limit. Commit to your heart. You will succeed. Your heart, not the heart of another, by the way. We get sidestepped when we do that, and our foundation often crumbles. So it's time to take responsibility and make sense of things. So here's a flavor for the signs and then we will get into the meditation. 
also Aries, for you, this new moon, it's going to be emotionally intense when sensitivity is going to be at its peak. The soul is going to be at the forefront. So really offer your soul what it needs. Maybe you sense a greater need for protection, maybe some love. Relationships with your family are being intensified. So visit parents more often and play more with your children. It's a time to really think ahead and make a few plans for what's ahead. Something you tend to elude or dilute, I guess. So your fiery nature sometimes means that you can take your eye off the long game. And you do work the best when you are spontaneous, but you can still put some care and attention into the future and what that looks like in long-term goals. Taurus, for you, this is a period of intensifying relational and intellectual levels. So you have to focus on the projects that call for your flexibility, change, innovation. It's time for you to set intentions, but don't rush to simply do a checklist checking off your to-do list. When you don't have a purpose, you are left to be blown around by the winds of fate. So it's time around this new moon to set those intentions of what you wish for, not just for the next 28 days, but into those long-term goals. Gemini, this is a period of fruition of older projects, financial success, after all those sustained efforts. So it's time for the harvest. You can be rewarded financially for what you have achieved so far. And remember, patience really is a virtue, even though it might not feel like it. And remember any challenges sent your way, they're tests. They're not punishments, they're like getting the memo. So rise to the challenge by keeping patient. Be in the zone of neutrality. Cancer, for you, this is a period of self-affirmation, of highlighting yourself in everything you propose. It's an ideal time for new beginnings, for starting new paths, for personal initiatives, for daring to show yourself, for bringing your true personality into the spotlight. So take your cue from the sixth planet from the sun, Capricorn, you're going to be receiving a much needed boost from Saturn during this new moon, meaning you're going to be craving freedom, excitement more than ever. Follow those urges and allow yourself to experience pleasure in its purest forms. Leo, for you, upsets and unwanted surprises can happen at any time. You are not feeling well. You're preferring to stay more in the shadows, behind the scenes, preferring some isolation, some solitude. Solicit your inner solitude, dreaming, illusion. So it's time to really kind of tap into that creativity, whether it's through writing, painting, singing, or any other form of art expression, self-expression. Not only will it add to your positivity, but it will also produce some new and better results that may even surprise you. Virgo. Oh, Virgo, your concern moves towards the world, society, community, humanity as a whole. You are better integrated socially and you make new acquaintances, associations, friendships. But just pay attention to your finances, make conscious decisions regarding your financial health and find it multiplies. Wouldn't that be great? And what better time to get Money Matters organized than the new year? So just shift your mindset to some tips of financial wellness that can be of service for you. Libra, for you, your career profile is standing out. Maybe start some new projects that can really bring you some success. You are more concerned than ever about your professional image, your reputation, your connection with your bosses, and even your own reputation. So you will do everything possible to draw attention to yourself. And what does that look like? will go big or go home. And if you go home, make sure to think big while you're in that sanctuary. Throw yourself into everything, both personal, professional, whatever it is, do it with style, do it with class, do it with meaning to see the best results. And this effort should be applied to all you do around this time. Scorpio. It's a time when you expand your horizons by connecting with the world, by learning, understanding, by traveling, being spiritual, be open to the subtle energies, the abstract side of life. And what does that look like? Well, you're being pulled in a lot of different directions. So now's the time to really clear things up, be more selective about who and where you put your energy, time and finances in to get really optimal results, invest your headspace into something that brings you more joy, more peace, more clarity. 
Sagittarius, your preoccupations turn to the deeper things of life. You're becoming more indiscreet, more curious, more mysterious, more attracted to gossip and secrets. You want to discover the true side of things and your sex life go figure increases in intensity you could experience a passionate erotic affair so breathe in a sigh of relief everything's going to start to fall into place expect a wave of energy productivity many of you have been feeling maybe positively in a rut so this energy is going to clear this by providing you with some clarity and peace of mind in your structures capricorn this is a great time for new adventures contracts collaborations partnerships on every level so be more open to others to the world to society which can really be a benefit to you in those important moments don't stay alone accept the company of others because you will feel greater a greater need for support and understanding teamwork comes first it's the dream work right so if you're debating whether or not to trust your gut, this lunation speaks volumes. Over the past six months, you may have found that you have totally lost a sense of connection to your intuition, but there is still time to reconnect. Our intuition is always speaking to us, but for you, it's going to be speaking loudly. It's going to be correct. So just don't ignore it and don't shut it off. Aquarius, your attention is directed towards the purification of your soul and your body. I would suggest doing a slimming, detoxifying, healing treatment. Maybe upcycle your eating habits. It's time to get rid of unhealthy eating and maybe a habit that's more behavioral on the forefront. And just know taking a risk isn't such a bad idea, especially during this phase. You do not thrive in your comfort zone. So let go of worry and know that if you do leap, the net will appear to catch you. You don't need to worry about it. Pisces for you this new moon in Capricorn it's dynamic it's a time full of energy creativity where you put your natural talents your gifts at work so you can fully manifest the qualities so it can be a time of total affirmation who you are perhaps even a time of glory maybe your inner brilliance and you can more easily stand out in the crowd highlighting what is unique what is special about you so it really is ushering in a new energy for you to employ your strength and this is a strength in all areas but mainly in your sense of self, in your sense of who you are. So with this Musing Moon Meditation, we're going to do just eight breaths into and through our heart center, bringing it all in from the outer sphere, if you will, our outer atmosphere or stratosphere, whatever you want to call it. So inhale from all realms, time, space, dimensions into your heart space. Hold for a count of three. Let's just do some breaths to kind of get into the zone of neutrality. Inhale. And just exhale. You're just getting centered. I always like to affirm the magical being that resides within. And exhale. Affirm all the magical beings tuning in to this Musing Moon Meditation. Affirm all our gatekeepers, guides, guardians of our galaxy seen and unseen and let's affirm the great spirit the source the oneness the singers of the realm beings in the angelic realm or beings from another planet Lemuria Atlantis Sirius and inhale to your heart space from what other dimension is feeling great for you hold for a count of three and on your exhale, we are going to release any aspect of our foundation that is not in alignment for sacred space. Inhale from that outer sphere to your heart space. Hold for a count of three. And on this exhale, we are going to release all things that our heart cannot commit to. Exhale and release. Inhale through to the heart space from that outer sphere. Hold for a count of three. And as you exhale, I want you to release all things that your heart does not feel it can commit to. Exhale and release. 
inhale from the outer stratosphere all the way to the heart space. Hold for a count of three. And on this exhale, release all things, all beliefs that are limiting and holding you back from your soul's harmonic. Exhale and release. Inhale from the outer stratosphere to your heart space. And on this exhale, let's exhale all things that our heart cannot commit to that we no longer want to attract. Exhale and release. Inhale to the heart from the stratosphere. And on this exhale, we are going to exhale that voice inside that is saying anything less than positive. Any of those affirmations that you may be saying to yourself that you're not good enough, you're not smart enough. We are going to release those words. Exhale and release. Inhale through the outer stratosphere to your heart center, the chalice, the star that you are. And on your exhale, you're going to release all ability to receive from the great spirit. Heartfelt committing to your heart's desires, not the desires of the other, but committing to your heart's desires. Exhale and release. Inhale through the outer stratosphere all the way to your heart center. Hold for a count of three. And on your exhale, we are going to release all karmic structure that is not in alignment with what our heart feels we are responsible for in this timeline, in this lifetime. Exhale and release. Inhale through the outer stratosphere into your heart space. Hold for a count of three. And on this exhale, we are going to release all commitments, all decisions, all responsibilities that are not in alignment with our heart. Exhale and release. So it is and so it will be. And with that, I say inshallah and ashe. And if this musing moon meditation awoke something up in you, please tag me and share. And as always, I will see you on the other side, or at least in a few weeks. Ashe, blessings to you.